Good morning. It's a good day because yeah. Environment 360 is here to pick up all the plastics. <laughs> Basically, they are contributing to saving the planet mm -hmm. and the world and the environment. Exactly. Okay, so Christine, um, I, you know, I just remembered on calling on Cordy to mm -hmm. come and help us, you know, get rid of the plastic, but in a positive way, mm -hmm. as in for it to be put into good use. Yeah. And um, I've been thinking, where exactly does this plastic still go? Yeah. Because we all know that plastics take over 450 years Definitely. to decompose. They don't even decompose. Mm -hmm. They break down into smaller fragments and end up in fish turtles dolphins and other innocent animal marine animals and even animals on land even mm -hmm. birds yeah. okay so they end up searching for food but then they end up feeding their babies with plastic Plastics, right because yes, that's always in the environment exactly yeah. and some people will be like oh, why should you care about the animals by the end of the day we use marine life and yeah. other animals to do experiments and find out how to sustain human life yeah, right definitely. and then if all the fish get killed by swallowing plastic what, what fish are, are we, we going, going to, to eat? eat and what fish will be there yeah. to you know reproduce and to continue yeah, for the generation to come. exactly yeah. so christine is going to tell us exactly what they do with this plastic okay so we at environment 360 believe that we have to give these plastics a second chance in life and that is what we, we call recycling mm -hmm. so we are going to um, trade this off to a third party and they are going to recycle it use it for ba um, um, what we call buckets uh, and papers to be used for air crates and yeah so all they are things. also collecting paper papers we have a lot well. of brown yes, paper bags that yes yeah. so that's mm -hmm. what we do and with our school programs we believe that in inculcating the values of segregating your waste such as sister Debbie has just done is going to go a long way to make the children believe that they can actually segregate their waste and they can give these plastics a second chance in this life mm -hmm. as she said it takes about 500 years if not approximately for these plastics to de decompose some even take a thousand yes. years yes yeah. and it's so sad that in a day how many sachets of water do we take mm -hmm. how many bottles mm -hmm. of water do you take yeah. and it takes 500 years for just one to decompose and the truth is that people like it's not really our fault but mm -hmm. maybe it's also some people's fault because if we had clean um, drinkable water running yes. through our pipes we wouldn't, we wouldn't be, have to go we wouldn't have to produce this. water in plastic yes. bags yes to sell exactly right? and, and those i also believe that those who put them in the system should have a collection system yes. and since we do not have that we at environment 360 believe mm -hmm. that we can give the community a chance we can give institutions a chance we can yes. give the ordinary Ghanaian a chance mm -hmm. to segregate their waste and to make and we also have what we call the buy buyback scheme okay. where you also get to uh, we create incentive driven, driven products yeah. and what program. i learned from cordy yeah. and from environment 360 is that waste is wealth exactly a lot of wealth yes. so environment 360 goes around to schools and mm -hmm. they encourage the youth all the students the pupils to segregate their waste. so basically yeah. separate their paper from their plastic Plastics. now the and more plastic organic. exactly and from yeah. organic so that's like remaining food yeah fruits and vegetables and exactly. yes so what they do is they encourage the students to separate their waste and then the more plastic you have the more money you make yes. and that money goes to the school and then they use it to help them with their yes. extracurricular exactly. activities and other things that the yes. schools need so this is very motivating mm -hmm. inspirational yeah. and very positive yeah so we create some yeah. school programs mm -hmm. or, or activities for them to know and engage them make them and make them understand yes. why it's important recently, to recycle and reuse yes. right recently the one we had was even run on social media it's called mm -hmm. waste segregation and collective responsibility yes. so the students had to come up with creative ideas about um, campaigns about mm -hmm. waste segregation and, it and how to educate to people exactly on yes. waste segregation so i made you to see the, the good yeah. works they did yeah okay and guys check out all more. the plastic yes so Christine is trying to market her whole we need you her company on my video, but <laughs> sign on to so, our program yeah and just call environment 360 yes. i'll share their handle with you Definitely. call them they come and pick up the plastic mm -hmm. um i know you don't know where to dispose of it because companies that produce bottles of water yeah. do not tell Take us what to, do. to do with it they don't yes. tell us what they to do with all us. these plastic bottles yeah. and it's rather unfortunate that that is how we you uh -huh. know get our water to drink yeah. But um, yeah, call on Environment 360 and we will give you the solution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so do not litter and also try to separate your waste. Mm -hmm. It's also unfortunate that we don't have two different trucks coming for exactly. our baller. So we put all of it together. Yeah, so that's, that is what we are trying to preach against. Ex exactly. So, so we need the support of mm -hmm. organizations, the government especially, exactly. to help us to expand. Yeah. Because when the boiler truck comes, it's only one truck. It's only one. So you just end up putting everything So you can't together. even really make money for, yes. your, for your waste. And but, even those mm -hmm. who can't give it to the boiler truck, mm -hmm. they end up burning it. 
and that causes climate change. Global warming. Global warming and all of that. It and affects. Right, we are if to it affects that. our breathing. Yes. It causes diseases. Exactly. Basically, burning plastic is very, it's very, very harmful. Very, very dangerous. Very, so very, we very have dangerous. to avoid that. Yeah. Just separate your waste and call on Environment 360 to pick up your plastic. Yeah. Thank you. Peace.